Right, this problem says solve write an interval notation in graph. Now it's, it's going to be a little bit trickier than it looks, so let's try it really quick. Um, it's going to be tricky because it has a couple x's in here. So our absolute value signs iso, right, we make our two cases, x squared minus 2x equals 3, just like it looks, but drop the absolute value bars. And then the second one, same thing, x squared minus 2x, but this time we said equal to negative 3. It's negative 3. Okay, we're going to go ahead and move this 3 over. We're going to put it in standard form here. Got to subtract it on uh, this side and add it on this side. On this one, we're going to get x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. And on this one, x squared minus 2x plus 3 equals 0. All right, now on this one, let's see, we have, um, I think we can factor it, 3, negative 2. Looks like if I do negative 3, 1. That would work, so x minus 3, x plus 1 uh, equals 0. And then if I solve here, x is going to equal positive 3. On this one, x equals negative 1. Okay, so I do have two solutions. Let's check it out over here. Um, I don't think I can factor this one, right? I'm going to get a 3, a negative 2, and then nothing will multiply to give me 3. that will add to give me negative 2, right? The only factors of 3 are 1 and 3. And in order to get a negative 2, uh, I have to make that 3 negative, but that does not multiply to give me a 3. So we do have to try the quadratic equation, uh, which, if you remember, is going to be negative b plus or minus the square root, b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. Okay, in our case, our a is 1, our b is negative 2, and our c is 3. Okay, so if I put this in here, negative b, the opposite of my b is going to be positive 2, plus or minus the square root, and then um, uh, b squared is going to be 4, minus 4, a is 1, c is 3, okay, and that's all divided by 2 times a, or 2 times 1. Now, a quick way to check is to check the discriminant. If this is negative, then there's no solution. Let's just double check that. We're going to end up with 4 minus 4 times 1 times 3, or 4 times 3. That's 4 minus 12, which turns out to be negative 8. Since that's negative, there is no solution for this case. Okay, So our only solutions are actually going to end up being from the first one, 3 and negative 1.